Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So now uh, let's talk about aircraft right so first when we are talking about aircraft we'll talk, we'll try, try to divide this stability concepts of aircraft to longitudinal stability and lateral directional stability and uh, to start with we'll talk about longitudinal static stability in fact we did this during our previous course so but still these concepts are important and it is it is worth refreshing them right so though we are uh, trying to take some time but still it is good if we visit through this so what we trying to start with is longitudinal static stability so just before proceeding proceeding to this aircraft let's now look at this uh, setup carefully right so what is that making the system to come back towards this equilibrium or what is helping this system to have stability can we say something about that who is helping here who is helping this uh, pendulum to come back towards this initial equilibrium so let at equilibrium o the mg is acting perpendicular to the local horizontal right and the tension in the string is perfectly balanced by mg here so there is no upward force and there is no rotation there is no moment isn't it now when we as soon as you displace it to a new location mg again acts perpendicular to the local horizontal right and the component of this weight which is mg cos theta so let us say if you draw a tangent to this curve at this particular location so tangent to this and this is theta which is this is theta why because this is theta right so because this local horizontal and this string right at uh, at o location o are perpendicular isn't it and this tangent is perpendicular to this particular length at this point so it makes the same angle and yeah the same case here this mg cos theta is perpendicular to this or say uh, we have this mg perpendicular to this local horizontal so a component of weight mg cos theta which is balanced by the tension in the string right and the component of this weight which is mg sin theta is what helping this object to move in the first place right but this motion is about point o right isn't it so with respect to point o this is now turns out to be a rotational motion isn't it so there is a rotation or the, so this force multiplied by this momentum is what is rotating this particular pendulum back to its equilibrium right so there is a moment that is helping this pendulum to come back towards this equilibrium we call this moment as restoring moment so for a system to be stable we need to talk about its restoring moment so restoring moment is what help is what is helping the system to come back towards to a towards its equilibrium position right we call it as restoring moment right so we need to understand who is providing this restoring moment right now get back to this aircraft so when you are talking about longitudinal case what is the possible moment in this longitudinal case is the pitch of motion isn't it is the rotation about or the moment about y axis right body y axis which is the pitching motion so we need to talk about pitching motion here which is given by our pitching motion 
what is due to pitching moment which is rotation about or moment about about y axis right about body y axis that we just discussed right so pitching moment m is given by half rho v square is cm so pitch up is considered positive pitch down is considered negative here right that is what we di just discussed times c bar fine where cm is the coefficient of pitching moment now when m is positive if m is positive when pitching m is positive when pitching moment is positive right when pitch when the aircraft perform a pitch up motion right so implies cm is also positive and vice versa if m is negative cm is negative now let us consider what are the possible equilibrium flight envelopes so its cruise i can name i can immediately name cruise right it is a study level flight. So, you can refer to our earlier lectures where we discussed about this. Study level flight and then study climb right? and then study glide. Yeah. Study glide. So this flight envelope correspond to equilibrium flight, right? Now consider one such case where you have our aircraft, let's say a steady level flight, This is our FRL, Fusilas reference line. Again, uh, this is a reference axis with which all the components are mounted, and it's an imaginary axis again, right? And we have V infinity, means the flow is uh, moving at a, at a speed V infinity towards the aircraft, which means the aircraft is moving at a speed V infinity into static air, right? And this flow is making an angle, so this aircraft is maintaining an orientation alpha with respect to this V infinity called angle of attack alpha, right? And now say if there is a small disturbance, right? If there is a small gust that increase this angle of attack to, to a new alpha, alpha prime by, so the, the, there is an incremental alpha here. So, that means what you have your initial equilibrium condition is now changed right isn't it so this change in angle of attack will change the aerodynamic forces right which in turn change the moment as well so when we are talking about the longitudinal case here we need to talk about the pitching moment right so the change in the pitching moment should result in such a way that we should again go back to this alpha right it's not the location or orientation it's about we are talking about uh, that state no uh, equilibrium state when it is when the aircraft is maintaining certain alpha so our aircraft has to return to that particular alpha once it encounters a disturbance right so that is when we can say the aircraft is stable at least longitudinally statically stable longitudinally stable right now how this aircraft can return to this alpha if this aircraft can rotate in such a way that the increased angle of attack is nullified, right? Say now we have the change in angle of attack is nullified, right? So we, the aircraft now sees a new angle of attack, alpha prime. If I rotate this aircraft in such a way, say if I rotate this pitch down, right? Nose down moment, then I can reduce this particular alpha prime to alpha by nullifying this delta alpha, right? So that means for there should be a restoring moment 
by means of this pitching moment, right? Isn't it? So, for an increase in alpha, there should be a decrease in or there should be a negative moment, right? So, similarly, when there is a decrease in angle of attack, let us say. So, uh, due to some disturbance, there is a decrease in angle of attack. Now, this particular angle of attack, so there is a decrease in angle of attack. So, this is alpha, alpha double prime, right? So, now my aircraft has to rotate in such a way that the decrease in angle of attack now should or say the change in angle of attack should return to the initial angle of attack, right? So, from alpha prime, if I have to maintain alpha where alpha prime is less than alpha, what I need to do? I need to rotate the aircraft up, right? I need to give a no sub motion. So, that means for a negative change in alpha or decrease in alpha, I need to increase the moment. For an increase in alpha, I need to decrease the moment, right? That is when we can say aircraft is possess longitudinal static stability. Now, let us consider So, let us say Cm is the coefficient of pitching moment variation with angle of attack. Right? So, this is positive and this is negative. What is positive? We say this is nose up motion and this is nose down motion. Right? Let us consider the following two curves. Let us say if the aircraft is having this sort of variation of pitching moment coefficient in fact, the pitching moment with angle of attack, right? Let us say this is my aircraft A or UAV A, right? Now, let us say there is another aircraft whose variation of pitching moment with angle of attack is given by this curve B, right? So, this is for UAV 2 and this is for UAV 1. Now, so what is this junction? Can you guess what is this? So, wh what is this location? Cm is? So, this is positive negative, then this must be 0, right? So, when Cm is 0, m is 0, moments are 0 here. So, can we say this has a trim condition or an equilibrium condition? So, what we have is an equilibrium here, let us say alpha Eq, right? Now, as we mentioned earlier, so, the disturbance that can happen for a trim flight in the longitudinal case is in terms of angle of attack, right? So, there in terms of like uh, for a pendulum, it is in terms of angular deflection there, right? Isn't it? Angular uh, displacement. So, here it in terms of angle of attack. For a longitudinal case, the disturbance that can happen is in angle of attack here, right? So, now when there is such a disturbance here, in angle of attack, which has increased it, right? Increased that particular, yeah. Let us say, but increase the initial trim angle of attack, right? So there is a disturbance now because of this disturbance, the aircraft now seeing alpha prime instead of alpha eq, equilibrium angle of attack. Right? So for an aircraft with uh, this particular variation, CM uh, that uh, this particular curve B variation. What happens with the increase in angle of attack, there is an increase in or positive pitching moment, right? Which means it will try to rotate the aircraft upwards, right? Isn't it? Am I correct or not? So, because CM is positive, it rotates the aircraft up. So, what happens in that case? So, let us say this is my aircraft, this is my nose, right? So, this is my initial condition. So, this particular uh, yeah, paper cutter points out the initial condition. So, when there is, so, so otherwise you can say this is my free stream velocity, paper cutter is free stream velocity and my aircraft is oriented in this particular fashion and moving at a level flight condition, right, in a level flight condition. Now, when there is increase in angle of attack because of the disturbance, so for the curve, if, the, if this particular aircraft possess the CM variation as that of curve B, what happens is this, this will produce a positive pitching moment. So, what is positive pitching moment? Rotation, right, no sub, right, isn't it? That positive means no sub. So, it will increase the, it will try to rotate up, 
which further increases the angle of attack here. So this further increase in angle of attack creates further more pitching moment and you will try to move away from this particular equilibrium point. That is similar to the one that we discussed, right? So con on con convex up condition, right? So that means this increase in angle of attack, increase in angle of attack for aircraft with curve B will increase, will create a positive pitching moment. So that positive pitching moment further increases the angle of attack. or sorry yeah further increases the angle of attack let's say this is alpha double prime and this increase in angle of attack will further increase the pitch up moment right so the you are trying to move away from this particular so the aircraft with this yellow graph right yellow uh, variation will try to move away from this equilibrium position right so you are new you are trying to move away from this equilibrium position right that means it is the aircraft is said to be unstable, statically unstable here. If the aircraft possesses this particular variation, we say the aircraft is statically unstable, does not possess longitudinal static stability. Right? And on the other hand, if the variation, otherwise if the disturbance reduces the angle of attack, say subscript 1, right? alpha subscript 1. So if it, if the variation reduces the angle of attack, for example, if this is my free stream velocity, right, this paper cutter represents free stream velocity and my orientation with respect to this represents angle of attack of the duster with respect to this free stream velocity is angle of attack. Now this has reduced the angle of attack. So the disturbance now reduce the angle of attack here. What happens is, it, so this LO curve will produce due to that it will produce a negative pitching moment, right? Isn't it? This is the negative axis here, right? So this, is, uh, so it will try to pitch down the aircraft. So, so say there is, this is the initial angle of attack. Now there is a decrease in angle of attack. So be, because of the external disturbance, and now the aircraft will try to further rotate it down, which means it will further decrease the angle of attack. So you will, you will try to move away from this equilibrium location. So you will try to reach another angle of attack or reduced angle of attack, right? So angle of attack is decreasing in this direction, increasing in the opposite direction, right? This is the increasing axis of alpha, right? So this pitch down moment will further reduces the angle of attack, which will also produce a higher pitch down moment, isn't it? Higher nose down moment that will take you away from this particular equilibrium location. So this alpha is moving away from this alpha EQ. So for the aircraft with this yellow curve, you are trying to move away from this equilibrium location, right? So on the other hand, when you talk about this aircraft with this uh, this red, uh, red graph, right? If, if the variation of pitching moment follows the curve A, the UAV or the aircraft which follows this curve A, so when there is a change in angle of attack, which is an increase in angle of attack because of the external disturbance, so this will produce a negative moment, right? So when there is an increase in angle of attack, so the aircraft with curve A will try to produce a negative moment, right? Negative pitch, pitching moment, which is pitch down moment. So we have initially this particular orientation and due to external disturbance, there is an increase in angle of attack. So this produces a pitch down moment that decreases that, right? So the increase in angle of attack with this, from this curve will produce a negative moment. So that means the aircraft will try to pitch down, right? So this pitch down will decrease this angle of attack, right? So it will decrease the angle of attack, which helps you to move towards the equilibrium. On the other hand, when you, uh, when the external disturbance decreases the angle of attack, so the aircraft with curve A, will produce a positive pitching moment that will help the aircraft to rotate nose up, right? So, which increases the change in angle of attack, isn't it? So it will try to increase the angle of attack. What is the increasing direction of angle of attack? Towards my right. So from here, you are trying to move towards this point, alpha EQ. So you are trying to move towards equilibrium location, right? So one condition that we can observe is 
the slope here, if you look at the slope, the change in pitching moment due to change in alpha, right? So, this corresponds to alpha 1, alpha 2, the change in alpha. So, the change in pitching moment or this change in angle of attack should be negative, right? Or less than 0 here. You can see. So, at this alpha 1, right? Alpha, alpha double prime alpha double prime you have a higher pitching moment here right and alpha prime which is higher than alpha double prime you have lower pitching moment so the change is negative there is a negative slope here you can you can see there is a negative slope so the cm versus alpha the cm variation with respect to angle of attack should be negative so this is one important uh, like a condition that we need to uh, maintain for a static longitudinal statical static stable flight right and is that all? Is that sufficient enough? So, let us consider another plot which is just parallel to this red line, right? Say the slope is negative, the slope is negative here, okay? So, can, can, why, so the, yeah, we have satisfied this condition dcm upon d alpha is negative, right? But which curve do you prefer for the aircraft to possess? Hmm? Yeah, A, okay. Why we need A? So, if you look at this, right, so the alpha trim here, what is the trim condition for this particular aircraft? When is CM is 0 at this particular location, is not it? So, where at this particular location you have negative angle of attack, alpha is negative, right. So, you will not be able to trim the aircraft at negative angle of attack, is not it? you will not be able to fly the aircraft at negative angle of attack. So, you, you should not trim it at negative angle of attack. So, so the nece necessary condition is that you should maintain this particular coefficient which is CM at alpha 0 should be positive. So, this CM at alpha 0 is the y intercept here we call it as CM naught. CM naught has to be positive has to be greater than 0 and CM alpha has to be less than 0, right. So, these are the two conditions. So, this is the necessary condition and we have this as sufficient condition. Okay. So, our aim is to look at what is the contribution of these various components of the aircraft. Say we, we looked at various ma major components, right, like wing, propulsion system, and tail, and vertical tail. So, how they are contributing towards this CM alpha and CM naught of the aircraft, right. And, and we should never forget that these moments we are talking is about CG, center of gravity of the system, right. It is about the CG of our aircraft, right. So, with respect to that, how these components are contributing towards this stability, right. So, why, what happens when I add a tail, what happens when I add a canard, what happens when I have double biplane wings, right. So, if I have to design a UAV, say if I have to design a biplane UAV, I need to understand whether the addition of these two wings, is it contributing towards stability or destabilizing the system, right. That is the main aim here. So, uh, we will try to look into those in the coming lectures. So, this is the necessary condition. I think in our previous discussion, this this was fab, right. So, try to correct this. So, this is the necessary condition to have CM not positive and CM alpha negative. Sufficient condition is CM alpha should be negative. So, for those aircraft with CM alpha greater than 0 and CM not greater than 0, so that can, we can still fly those aircraft, right, but with a onboard controller, okay. But even if CM alpha is less than 0, if you have CM naught less than 0, you may not be able to fly the aircraft. You have to trim at negative angles of attack. At negative angles of attack, you will try to reach towards CL 0. You do not have lift, right. So, yeah, see you soon.